Hello, in this video I will tell you about an application that allows you to design and calculate HVACR systems. It also allows you to insert different HVACR equipment into your projects. To start working with our system you need to go to the site hvacr.cloud and uh, you need an architectural plan. In one of the formats uh, like this uh, you can uh, use uh, raster formats, you can use AutoCAD formats, DXF and DWG and you can use PDF formats. After you insert the architectural plan in one of these formats uh, you can immediately start uh, designing. Uh, our software has such sub-models. The first one is ventilation. Uh, to open this model you just need to push this ventilation button and then you can add rectangular dunks just like this. You can add round ducts and you can add different equipment, different ventilation equipment, air handled units, fans, air terminals and dampers. Uh, <coughs> in our system, you, in our software, you can both uh, calculate the general ventilation systems, here they are red and blue, and the smoke removal and pressurization ventilation systems. By calculation, I mean the sizing of the general ventilation system and the balancing of the system. By sizing, I understand automatically give sizes to the ducts and by balancing automatically balance the dampers. Here are the dampers, so they are automatically balanced by our system. For smoke removal and pressurization systems, you also have the opportunity to calculate air flow and air temperature before you start the aerodynamical calculation of the system. Let us delete this part. And now let us uh, switch to the 3D view. While you design, you can easily switch to 3D view and see all the project like this. So you see here the air handling units, the fans, the dampers, the diffusers here, and so on. So that's it with ventilation. Uh, now I will tell you about another part of our system, about air conditioning. So here are two buttons for air conditioning. The calculation and design and calculation of VAF systems and design and calculations of chiller and coil conditioning systems. So in chiller and coil systems you can draw dark pipes. So I return to the 2D view first and go to the VIF systems. So here's the plan and something is already designed here. Uh, and you can use this button to draw pipes. You can use this button to insert indoor units and this button to um, select and insert outdoor units. When your design is finished, you just select any pipe or any part of the system and here the calculation button appears. You press this button and the calculation of the whole system starts. For VIF systems the uh, calculation selects the, automatically selects the sizes of the pipes and it also selects, automatically selects the bread joints. Here you see only one pipe but in fact it's two pipes together but it's easier for a designer to draw one pipe for VIF system so it's like this in our software. Yet again we can switch to the 3D view and see our system here. We can turn, show, we can turn this on to see each floor. Now let us consider the chiller from coil systems once again, we return to, three, to the 2D view and select chiller from coil systems. Here you again can draw pipes and insert fan coils, chillers and control valves. Again, you can switch to 3D view. Again, you can make all the calculations. Uh, here there are two pipes, the supply and the return pipe. And after the calculation, they automatically get sizing and also the valves are being set. 
so that they have the correct settings. Now let's consider the heating part. We return to the 2D view and push heating. So here is the heating part. In heating you again, yet again can draw pipes. You can add radiators and other equipment. You can add valves. When you start calculation, the automatic sizing of your pipes starts and after the sizing you can do balancing that balances all your valves. Yet again we can switch to 3D view and see how it looks in 3D. The last part of our software is refrigeration. Here is a project with refrigeration. You can insert refrigerator tracks and apparatus condensers, dry coolers and other equipment. You can draw pipes. You can automatically calculate the pipe sizes. And again you can switch to 3D view and see how it looks on 3D. After your design is finished you can download plans and axonometric views in AutoCAD format. To do this I return to 2D view, for example to ventilation. I choose one of the systems action select system and then I press the plan button. It starts downloading the DXF file. So here it's downloaded. When I open the DXF file I see the whole ventilation plan of this system for each floor. So I can easily copy it to the architecture plan, plan and that's it. One more thing is axonometric plan. Let us see it. So you see the axonometric view also in AutoCAD format. Thanks for watching.